Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. Today we're going to be doing a range test on the Turbo Ant M10 Lite. Now on paper this scooter should be able to do about 15 and a half miles of range on a full charge. Now keep in mind that is under ideal conditions with a rider of a specific weight, specific uh, outdoor temperature and all that fun stuff. Um, I believe uh, they got those numbers off of a 165 pound rider. Just for reference, I am 195 pounds and this scooter does have a maximum carrying capacity of 220 pounds. So I am close to that uh, upper limit. So we'll see how this scooter does. I expect anywhere from eight to nine miles, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Now this Turbo Ant M10 Lite does have a 6.6 .6 amp hour battery that's what's uh, powering this wonderful ride here today and uh, out of the box it charges with the 1.5 amp uh, charger in about four to five hours so pretty quick turnaround from a drain state to full charge now this scooter does come with cruise control so if i put this uh, throttle all the way down here hold it for six seconds you will hear a beep there it is that beep lets you know that cruise control has been enabled now once you're in cruise control you can deactivate it by tapping on the brakes or uh, tapping on the throttle lever now this scooter does not have a suspension but what it does have are eight and a half inch pneumatic air filled tires which so far have done a really good job at absorbing uh, a lot of the bumps in the road so pleasantly surprised with that the turbo ant m10 Lite does come with two drive modes the first drive mode drive mode number one will take you up to a maximum of nine miles per hour and the drive mode number two will take you to a maximum speed of 16 miles an hour now, i don't know if you can see on the screen here uh, but that tells you what your current speed is now one thing that this scooter doesn't have is a trip meter or odometer so i'm actually tracking the mileage on this trip with my garmin smartwatch all right so so far we are at two miles and we still have four bars on the scooter so pretty decent uh, we'll see how close we can get to that 15 and a half mile uh, maximum range uh, that they have on paper for the turbo ant m10 light Now, so far, I just want to mention that for a sub $400 scooter, I'm actually really impressed with the overall ride quality and the fact that it's been able to do a really good job at maintaining my speed uh, in cruise control. And I've been able to hit the maximum speed of 16 miles an hour without issue. Uh, another thing I want to call out is the brakes on this scooter are actually really responsive. It's got an electronic brake in the front as well as a manual disc brake in the back. Let's see how well this scooter does off the beaten path. Okay, so like I said before, this scooter does not have a suspension, but it does have these eight and a half inch air filled tires. Obviously not as smooth as it would be on a scooter with a suspension, but overall it is not an uncomfortable ride. Uh, it's actually pretty pleasant uh, even on these rutted dirt roads. So these tires do uh, a really good job of absorbing a lot of the impact. All right, let's try it on some gravel here. Okay, no issue at all. And overall, this scooter does have pretty decent control. You know, no issues. It's not like a, a jarring ride at all. It's, it's very controlled. I'm able to carve around here on the pavement without issue it's a really good grip on these tires all right now if you are curious what the stopping power looks like on this scooter from maximum 15 16 mile an hour speed this is what uh, full brake looks like okay not bad at all i was able to stop right at the end of the stop there we did have uh, uh, some skidding of the tires but overall uh, really happy with the braking performance on this scooter and like I said it's really responsive when you brake lightly you can absolutely feel the electronic brake kicking in and as you go uh, heavier on the braking uh, you feel that rear uh, disc kick in more heavily all right we are officially at three miles and we still have four bars out of four bars remaining all right let's hop back onto the dirt path here a little hop
All right, for those of you curious how this does on dirt and gravel roads, pretty good. Uh, no fish tailing or anything like that. Uh, pretty confidence inspiring ride. All right, we're gonna hop off the dirt through the gravel and back onto the paved path. Now I'm gonna slow down a little bit here and we'll take a look at uh, what acceleration with this scooter looks like. Uh, it looks like we're down to three bars, we're close to four miles. Now keep in mind that in order to get this scooter going, you do have to kick it, and once it gets to a certain speed, your throttle becomes active. So let's see how long it takes us to get to max speed. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 miles an hour. So there you have it. You know, that's, that's what the acceleration looks like on this after close to four miles of riding. So a scooter like this is gonna be appropriate for somebody that's looking for something that's ultra portable as well as budget friendly. This scooter only weighs 30 pounds. It's about 14 kilograms. So it's really easy to, you know, lug upstairs, flights of stairs if you have to do that. Uh, and it's also um, pretty small in its overall form factor. So storing this indoors somewhere is really quite simple, especially when you compare it to the much more expensive, you know, 50, 60, 70 plus pound scooters that are available on the market. All right, and we are officially at that four mile mark and we still have four bars remaining. Now, one thing to call out about this scooter, it is front wheel drive. I'm used to driving around on rear wheel drive scooters, but it does have uh, its motor in the front. So it's pulling you, not pushing you. There you have it. We are officially at five miles and down to three out of four bars. Uh, and we still got, you know, ample power. We're still able to hit 15, 16 miles an hour on this scooter without issue at all whatsoever. So now we're going to be going into a dog park area, which has got a little bit of a hill, downhill, uphill. We'll be able to test uh, some of the hill climbing ability on this scooter. All right, we've got a little bit of a downhill section here. All right, now we're gonna loop around here and there is a little bit of an incline that we'll be able to ride on here. All right, there we go. You can see kind of for reference on the right, uh, give you an idea of the kind of hill we're looking at here. Little test of the hill climb performance of this scooter. And look at that, you know, 12 miles an hour. Not too shabby at all. Now this scooter does have on paper the ability to climb up to 15 uh, degree slopes. And we are officially at six miles into this ride and we still have three bars remaining. So six miles, three out of our four bars remaining. All right, we are officially at the seven mile mark uh, and we've got three bars remaining and we're still able to hit 15, 16 miles an hour without issue. So I haven't seen any kind of appreciable drop in power. We are officially at eight miles and down to two bars. So eight miles into this ride, down to two bars. And just a reminder, I am 195 pounds, so definitely 
uh, approaching that 220 pound weight limit on this scooter. quick update we are officially at nine miles into this ride and we are on the last bar so the single bar so we'll see uh, what the behavior of this bar is as we get closer and closer uh, to zero on the battery but so far it's been a really smooth ride honestly i am impressed uh, at how well this scooter rides and performs at the price point it sells for which it's currently listed at, I think, just under $400, but I do know there is a Black Friday sale, which takes the price down uh, for this scooter to $299 US dollars, which honestly, I, I, just, I just don't, I don't get it, how you can make a, a scooter at that price point uh, that performs as well as this does for what you get. And one thing to note, even though we're on the last bar, we're still able to maintain 15 miles an hour. You know, so that, that, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, normally when you get uh, to these lower battery levels, you see a significant drop off in power. Now with that being said, does it accelerate as fast as full bars? No, it doesn't, but it is still able to get up to 15 miles an hour and maintain that speed. All right, and if you'd like to hear this bell in action, here it is. It's actually really loud, surprisingly loud actually. So that'll definitely get somebody's attention. All right, there you have it. We are officially at 10 miles on this Turbo Ant M10 Lite, and we are still able to maintain 15 miles an hour in cruise control. So let's see how far we can go. We've got one battery bar left. All right, we'll take this uh, scooter on a little incline test here. We'll drive through some of these puddles. This scooter does have an IP54 rating, in case you are curious. All right, we will swing around. And we will go up this little incline here with one battery bar remaining on some wet ground. Still has plenty of traction. And... We were able to make it up, no problem at all. One battery bar remaining. And I think uh, it's looking like we're able to maintain 14 miles an hour now. So a little bit of a dip in power, but that is to be expected. We are on the bottom end of this battery at this point. And you can see some of these like gaps in the road. These tires do handle them pretty well, so even though this doesn't have a suspension, the tires are able to absorb a lot of that impact. And we are officially at 11 miles on this scooter. We are, of course, still on the last bar, and uh, our maximum power uh, is slowly reducing. For example, right now, we can maintain 13 miles an hour, and that's about it. I will also note that cruise control still works uh, in this lower power mode, even, uh, you know, when the battery is getting close to depleted. I know some scooters out there um, really cut off uh, cruise control somewhere around 20%. Okay, one thing to note is our battery bar has officially turned red. So I think that means we probably only have one mile remaining in the tank. So we'll be getting into crawl home mode here shortly so let's see how far we can take it right now our maximum speed is capped at 12 miles an hour cruise control still works but that battery bar is definitely red go ahead and transition to the sidewalk now that we've got uh, reduced power we're going slow enough that uh, we can cruise around on this sidewalk okay here we go here's something to note um, cruise control still works we are capped at nine miles an hour, eight to nine miles an hour right now. So that's really um, riding mode one, maximum speed. We're at 11 and a half, a little over 11 and a half miles. So let's see how far this is going to take us. Looks like uh, I'll be demonstrating uh, the kick scooter ability here. 
and how this scooter's, how easy it is to kick this scooter and manually propel it home. So congratulations, you're gonna get some uh, kick action in this video. Oh, look at that, okay. Slowing down, eight miles an hour. Cruise control still works. So this thumb is free to just hang out and enjoy the ride. Now, a quick word of caution, if you find yourself in a situation where you're running the battery down to near zero like we're doing today, definitely make sure to charge it up to 100% as quickly as possible because you definitely don't want to leave uh, any of these lithium ion batteries uh, in a depleted state for very long. It could actually, uh, you know, impact the longevity of your battery. Okay, the red bar is now flashing at us and we are capped at eight miles an hour. Uh, and we are just shy of 12 miles. Can we make it to 12? I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here, hop back on the sidewalk. All right, our speed is now capped at four miles an hour. And we are on our way. That uh, last bar is blinking at us. Three miles an hour. All right. And I'm gonna call it here. I don't know if you can see my watch. 12 miles, exactly. 12.00 miles. That's how far we made it on the Turbo Ant M10 Lite from a full charge here on a decently warm Arizona day. So really, really impressed. I was expecting that we'd get anywhere from eight to nine miles, given that, you know, I'm 195 pounds. That's 30 pounds heavier than their, uh, you know, test riders uh, when they came up with all of these stats. Now, if you're curious what it's like to kick this scooter, it's actually not bad at all. Now that's no power input from me. The scooter is light enough that if you do have to kick it, obviously it's not pleasant, but it's way easier than some of the larger scooters out there. So you can get moving uh, by just kicking the scooter down the road. So there it is, you know, with some kicking here, I can hit seven, eight miles an hour. No problem, obviously, if you wanna sustain that, you're gonna have to put in some work. That's it, that is the range test, 12 miles on the dot. As always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We will see you next time.